Hi, I'm Mo Lipvig and uh, welcome to a short presentation on social bookmarking courtesy of bookmarkingdemon.net and at bookmarkingdemon.net we investigate social bookmarking and some of the software that can automate that process uh, along with some blog comment software uh, interestingly enough we had some software that we requested to compare uh, some of the stuff we have on the site, we had that request turned down, um, which I think in and of itself speaks volumes when we look at the software that we were comparing it to. So the best way to probably look at social bookmarking is to compare it to normal bookmarking, uh, which is simply where you find a site or resource that is useful when you're uh, searching around the internet. You press Control and D in your browser or go to your favorites menu and add a favorite. Press OK and that site is then attached to your favorites list for future reference whenever you need it, whether that's tomorrow, next month, or you probably forget about it and never use it ever again. Social bookmarking, however, differs in a couple of small ways. The process is pretty similar. So you find a site or resource that is useful and valuable to you as you're stumbling around the internet, and then you submit that site URL into a social bookmarking system. Upon which, when you do so, you tag that bookmark with words that you can identify it with later on by searching against it. So the words are generally going to be sort of relevant to the context or the content of the site that you were uh, tagging in the first place. You press OK, and then that bookmark and its tags are shared with the rest of the world. Why should we bother doing social bookmarking anyway? It's pretty good actually, there's a very simple principle, and that is if you've bookmarked a site in the first place, it's probably because you have found it useful and valuable in some way. And if it's useful and valuable to you, it is more than likely useful to a whole bunch of people just like you who are searching for similar things. So in this way, social bookmarking allows for the creation of a relevant and validated directory of internet resources. Now onto the tagging. The bookmarks on their own are pretty useless. You know, they're just a bookmark. So the tags are required to make the bookmarks useful. Uh, the tags allow the bookmarks to be associated with a series of words or phrases that are related to the content of the bookmark. So when you search for a, uh, on a social bookmarking site, you are searching for the tags of a bookmark, not for the bookmark itself. And the tags have to be basically um, Inf words or phrases that are relevant, contextual, and have you know, something to do with the content of the bookmark site itself, or perhaps you know some kind of related uh, item or article. Now you'll have to forgive me here if I uh, make a mess of these words. Uh, so we got folksonomy versus taxonomy. I said it. Taxonomy is the word given to a method of classifying information in a hierarchical manner. Taxonomy is authoritative, it's standardized and highly accurate for the area of knowledge it is used within. If you're confused about what I mean, think about sort of like biologies where they talk about different genuses and animals and birds and fish and you know the different types of animals that make up the group of animals and things like that. So, uh, in comparison, folksonomy is a word made up of folk, as in a group of people, and taxonomy, a system of tagging. Therefore, folksonomy is a group-based method for classifying information. Yeah, and that's all really interesting, of course. Um, and why the hell am I telling you this? And it's pretty simple, actually, because folksonomy is the system of tagging used in social bookmarking. However, there are some problems with folksonomy, and that is people interpret different words in different ways. Um, so the ver what I might think one word means might actually mean something completely different to you. Therefore, there is no official standard of vocabulary for tagging within a folksonomy system, such as social bookmarking. It's difficult to show or describe hierarchical relationships, as I mentioned earlier. Um, for instance, folksonomy will not show a parent-child relationship between animal and dog, showing that animal is higher up the, the system of classification than dog is. Here's the thing, though. Social bookmarking, tagging, and folksonomy systems show signs of being self-organizing. Um, over time, the differences in language tend to balance out towards what is effectively an official vocabulary, dictated only by the majority of people that are using those words. So, you know, eventually, this very chaotic system becomes organized in and of itself by the group. The group sustains itself and, you know, organizes itself. 
recently, um, there has been an upsurge in the use of social bookmarking for those wonderful members of the internet who distribute spam. Um, they have taken to using the social bookmarking sites. And what they do is they set up a, an illicit site that they wish to promote and send lots of traffic to. What they do then is they then tag that site uh, using social bookmarking systems, except the tags aren't representative of the site's content. Uh, an example of this would be that, I don't know, having a site that sells, I don't know, Viagra, and then tagging that site using a social bookmarking system with the words Britney Spears, um, utilizing the traffic uh, that those keywords would generate and attaching it to something completely irrelevant. In that way, the administrators of social bookmarking sites are always on their back foot looking for ways uh, of dealing with this sort of irrelevant keyword spam. Regardless, social bookmarking is here to stay. It has its problems, but the ability for sites to be validated by a human being totally outweighs the downsides, in my opinion. The very act of bookmarking shows relevancy which is something even Google has problems with, which is why we've got sites like the Open Directory project, which has a human being actually validate the site uh, before it goes into the directory. It's a great way of sharing good content and promoting a very useful internet site. And that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And if you want to find out more about social bookmarking and perhaps some solutions to automate the process, if you are looking to uh, promote a good internet resource, please visit us at bookmockingdemon.net. Have a great day.